Well, hello YouTube, this is Jules Toin, and uh, in this first Adobe Premiere Pro CS3 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, cut your video very basically and create fade-ins and fade-outs. Uh, let's get started. So first click New Project, and uh, here uh, the program asks you uh, which preset you want to use for your video. Uh, well, if you want to make a YouTube video, I, su I suggest you choose standard 40H, 48 uh, kilohertz or whatever this is. And I'm going to name this tutorial. All right. So now the program is popped in. So uh, first off, we're going to import some uh, footage. So it's going to file import and select uh, some spore footage all right so now the spores the spore footage is open uh, it's right over here and as you can see if I press the little play button uh, it's previewed in that small little thumbnail right here so um, what we're gonna do here is uh, take this sequence and drag and drop it into video one so here's our project. So uh yeah, my little creature swimming out of the water. So uh what we're gonna do first is uh cut on what un unwanted parts from the video, like the loading. So um what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in for a better cut. So there's two ways to zoom. Either you can take uh the zoom tool right here and click until uh, you're satisfied or you can use the little the little uh, arrow right here and simply uh, move it all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this until we reach the right spot let's say here and we're gonna use the razor tool here and simply place it where we want it and cut all right and we're gonna click on the arrow tool select this and press delete to get rid of it all right so now we want to fade in so what we're gonna do is um, first we're gonna click this button right here and make sure show keyframes is selected same thing with the audio sequence and then we're gonna select our sequence and click on this button right here to add a keyframe on both video and the audio sequence and then we're gonna go a little further and we're gonna do the same thing now you wanna select the first keyframe on both the video and audio sequence and drop it until uh, it reaches the bottom of the sequence and uh, as you can see when you go back uh, on the video sequence the opacity is lowered uh, until zero and in the audio sequence uh, well basically uh, the sound is lowered to uh, minus something decibels so if you press press play the video is gonna fade in and uh, if you want uh, to make a fade out well simply uh, repeat the process backwards so add two keyframes and take the last keyframe and drop it and what this is gonna do here is give us a fade in and a fade out Well, this is it for this uh, first tutorial. I hope this will help you out. And this is Jules Toin signing out.